Hello, welcome. YouTube, we are making a public sheet and a private sheet. With Google Sheets, we're gonna use import range. Why? We want to create a private sheet with some information. Maybe you have that already, and you're like, how do I make part of this public without sharing the entire sheet? And one extra thing we're gonna do today in this video is we're gonna create an external system to get information into the sheet. We're gonna use Google Forms. We're gonna use two sheets, uh, one public, one private, and we're gonna connect them with import range. So how are we gonna do this? We have a sheet already right now. The sheet you're looking at, I just went to sheet.new, made a new sheet. We have one private sheet, okay? And then we have one Google form, and we're gonna get information with this. Then we're gonna create one public sheet, and we're gonna give access to the entire internet for this sheet. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna use import range from the private sheet, we will select the data we want and put it into the, the public sheet using import range. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. Let's say we're uh, selling some items. Maybe it's like a virtual garage sale or something. We have some chairs, tables, desks, we're selling them. Maybe we submit some ourselves. We have some items we wanna sell, but others are gonna submit other items they wanna sell. So let's do that. Let's get our external information in. We're gonna go and create a Google form now. It's up at tools, tools, create a new form. We're just gonna create three things in our Google and it's gonna be name, price, and submitted by. So right here we have our form already, uh, form responses, and it's name form responses, but we're gonna change that name. We can just double click on the name of the tab and do that. Okay, we have our items that we know we want to show publicly. We have our submissions, and we're gonna get some submissions here. We're gonna get name, price, and then the name of the submitter. We can, we definitely have to make this form public. It'll be in settings and in responses. You can collect email addresses if it's like all within one company. If you're all using the same Google Workspace admin, you can grab all of their email addresses and see who responds. But in this case, we want public external people. All right, now what you were waiting for. So we have our sheet of items. We have a sheet of submissions. But now, how do we make this public? Well, we're gonna have to create a whole new sheet and we'll do that with sheet.new. Just go to sheet.new. I use uh, slash two because I have two uh, Google workspaces. It's always gonna be the second one that I wanna make a new sheet on. All right, we have a brand new sheet. I haven't done anything to the sheet yet, and all we're gonna have to do is we double click in A1, and we're gonna go equals import range. And now, if you don't know what import range does, we have a little helper here that allows us to see what's going on. We have a spreadsheet URL and a range string. What we need is we go back to our other, we can grab this entire URL. We don't need to edit it or anything. We can just take the entire URL and back on our import range, we're gonna put it in quotes. We're gonna do two quotes and then we're gonna paste this URL, the entire URL. We're not gonna do any edits to it. I'll show you another trick sort of later. We're gonna add another string here, but what is that string? What, what is the range that we want? Well, in the sheet, we have a tab, and we have a uh, name, price, submitted by, and sold. This could be like a drop-down button, or drop-down here, view more cell actions, data validation, and here we want a list of, let's just say items, we want pending, let's say we want these two, and maybe everything is available first. Okay, we save that, and now we can copy-paste that, drop down menu and we can quickly say if something's sold or not or available and we have power over this. So obviously the reason we're not allowing people to have access to this is we don't want any necessarily anyone to see the submissions on this page. We also might have some notes here. Maybe we have commission. Maybe we have like this one is going to be 10% commission. This will be 50% commission and we don't want people to see that. There might be extra information here that we only want to see A through D. We want to see is something sold or not, and who is it submitted, and who is the name and price. Who, actually, also the submitted by might not be good either. So let's say we don't want to, you know, we're, we are the marketplace. We don't want the buyers knowing who is selling it. We just know they're buying it from us. We can move this sold over here, and we want A, B, C. Just to clearly say this, we're looking at items tab, and we want the range A, B and C. So we go back to our public garage sale page, the one that we know is public, in our import range in this last quote, the second quote, we do items, uh, exclamation point because it's the tab, and we go A colon C. We could also do like A1, 
if we want only one cell, but we want the entire column. And now we get a message when we say you need to connect these sheets, allow access. This is this is really, really good and very important because if somebody else ever gets the URL of our private sheet, then they need to also allow access. Just having the URL of the private sheet doesn't allow someone access. Clicking this because I'm logged in and I have access to both sheets allows me to give access to this sheet. Now we have privately our information here on the sheet and publicly we can share this URL with anyone. Up here we can unlock this sheet and we can say share with anyone with the link and we can click done and now this URL is available for everyone on the internet. What we needed to do in this video was we wanted to make a private sheet with some information and we wanted to share that with someone they could externally give us more information using a Google form and we want to display part of that information publicly so that people can see it anywhere and we can maybe embed it in another site or just share this a public sheet with someone. How did we do that? We made list, we created a Google form called submissions, then we also created a new sheet, a brand new other sheet, a second sheet, and we used import range, grabbing the URL and the, the range. So one thing about this import range I want to add to anyone that wants a little bonus, you can actually do something else here. If you happen to know just the ID, you can usually use just the ID of the sheet. So we're going to take out the entire URL and just put the ID and see if that also works. And it does. See, all we need is the ID. We don't need the entire URL. But sometimes if you're moving quickly, Using the entire URL is totally okay. Google is like, we get it. What happens if somebody sells a product? And we say sold, because maybe we only want for sale items. And now you see, oh, this one is sold. Maybe we don't want to see it. Here's what I would, on our private sheet, I would create a new tab and I would call it filter. I would take the header. I would maybe just write the header here. And then in A2, I would go equals filter. The range is going to be items A to C. Actually, we don't even need A to C. We need A to B. And the condition is that items uh, exclamation point C to C equals available. And now we have two items here. Now this filter, all we have to do on our public sheet is change the range in our import range from items to filter. The load, there we go. And now we've filtered our items. Thanks for watching this bonus part of the video. Write any questions you have in the comments. Thanks for watching Better Sheets. Don't make any sheets, make better sheets.